All right, Barbenheimers, the day at last has arrived as Greta Gerwig's Barbie movie and Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer have their big July 21st debuts at last. But what does the Barbenheimer phenomenon really mean? There's no debating that these are two of the most hotly anticipated movies of all time. Part of how you can tell is how triggered the right wing is by it. And their big premiere date has been framed as some kind of epic battle. In this corner, the candy color drop for the girls and the gays. In that corner, the thrillingly intellectual history of the atom bomb for the dudes. For the record, it's the girls and the gays winning so far. But when it comes to actual filmgoers, they don't seem to really be buying the whole duking it out narrative. People are so excited about both movies that they've merged them into a singular event. Hollywood loves to segment filmgoers into tidy, discreet demographics. This is for liberals and women and LGBTQ pluses, and this is for conservatives and straight men and serious filmgoers. But the Barbenheimer phenomenon proves that that's utter nonsense. It seems like pigeonholing audiences into women and queer people versus everybody else just might not hold as much water as it used to.